Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andrew and today we're going to see how to set your own keys, own actions on Godot. Basically we're going to see the input map. We're going to, you know, to map our input uh, in order to be called by, by our own names and not the default ones that are maybe not that intuitive to ours. So basically that that might be a little bit annoying, you know. It's pretty easy actually, and it is just from the project settings. So basically, let's start and see how we can do that. Okay, guys, here we are on the Goddard engine, and I just have a scene. And, and don't worry about the fact that uh, I have just a scene opened. You can do this even before you start working on your project. So just go to project, project settings. This tab will pop up, just go to the input map. And like you can see here, you have some default actions that are called by these keys. I actually don't like them and I tend to delete everything here. We're not going to use for this tutorial this ones because we're going to make our own one. So basically to create a new action, just go here on this form and just give it an, a name. I'm going to give it the name of right because we're going to call it when the right arrow key is going to be pressed. And after that, you just need to click on add. You can see that uh, a new action is created. You may notice here that we have the dead zone as well. We can set it, we can change it whenever we want. I tend to leave it as it is the default one 0 0.5. If you click this plus button here, you're going to add an event. Now, like I said before, this section is going to be called when, when some input happens. So basically it is going to ask you if it is a key, if it's a joy button, or is it a joy axis or a mouse button. And you can add more than one. So you basically can have keyboard input and joypad input together to call the same action. Now, basically I'm going to use the key here and it's going to ask you to confirm it. So basically you need just to press the key that you want to call this action. In this case, I'm going to press the right arrow key and I'm going to click OK. And that's fine. We now can call the right, ac uh, right action just by pressing the right arrow key. I can give to this action another input. So basically it can be called by both of them. So I'm going to use the joy button here. And this way you can easily map your joystick as well. So basically dual shock here and you just use, for example, the right D pad. Now to call these actions, you just need to check them by an if condition. And it's pretty easy if you don't know what if conditions are and how to use them. I have just a real basic tutorial, you know, introduction on this channel. I made it the last video, so j just go and check it. If input that is action just pressed, and like you can see, it already recognized my new function here, right. And I can just use that. I'm going to print here, left arrow is pressed. If I press left, it's going to, you know, output this left arrow is pressed. Okay guys, this was all. Hopefully it helped you. This was pretty basic. If you like the video, just leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But more important, keep making games! See you guys. <laughs>